to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma in a recent interview with helen ye sports the natural born killer carlos condit talked a little bit about the current champion tyron woodley and the state of the welterweight division his return and also you know what what he's looking forward in his return to mma because as a lot of people know he retired in his last fight versus damian maya after being submitted in the first round but the decision was a little brash it was in the octagon right after a loss and a lot of people expected his return well now carlos condo Car Carlos Condo. Carlos Condit is back and he's fighting at UFC 219 versus Neil Magny. Now, what I want to talk about in this interview, we're about to talk about, but I do suggest you go listen to the full interview because there's a lot of good things in it. Carlos Condit talked about the fact that the, you know, that we all know that Tyron Woodley versus Nate Diaz is a strange fight. Of course, it doesn't make much sense, but we all kind of understand, you know, if you're trying to sell pay-per-views, that would sell pay-per-views. The thing I want to talk about, though, is Carlos Condit. I got to give him some uh, a lot of respect for what he said <clears throat> in this interview. Now, he he talked about how, the, you know, how, I think that was Helen Yee who was interviewing him. She looked like a Helen Yee, and the YouTube channel was Helen Yee Sports. So, uh, she asked him, so, you know, what after this fight, you know, who do you want next, possibly? I, I believe that was the question, something like that. But either way, he said, you know, Neil Magny's a tough gauge to see where I'm at. You know, this could just be a one-off, but if it's not a one-off, you know, maybe I'd like to, uh, you know. You know, this is how it usually is whenever somebody's asked if they're going to fight Tyron Woodley. Uh, yeah, you you know, he's the champion. You know, I, I want the belt. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that, that'd be a, a fun challenge. <laughs> you know, people, I'm just going to be honest. Nobody wants no goddamn smoke with Tyron Woodley. I don't care who you're a stan of. I'm not even a Tyron Woodley stan. I'm not a Tyron Woodley di dick rock. Writer. I'm just a fucking unbiased ass fan of the sports that watches like you guys and if I'm reading the signs whenever anybody's asked about fighting Tyron Woodley it usually is like yeah you know I'd fight him just because you guys want me to but uh I'd probably get fucking smoked and that's usually the vibe I get when people are asked about that but that's not all, all the way the case here with Carlos Condit. Even though I had that vibe, right before that, Miss Helen Yee asked him, you know, so what do you think about the current champion? And Carlos Condit, this is where he gets my respect. Because most people are like, oh, I could beat him. It's like, okay, so are you gonna fight him? Uh, well, you know, uh, that's when that shit comes. Carlos Condit admitted, hey, he deserves to be the champion. He's a supremely talented fighter. He's one of the hardest workers in the division, and I believe he's the top welterweight today. Boom, that's all you gotta fucking say, and I'm fine with everything else. Much respect to Carlos Condit. This is a fucking great interview because he prefaced it with that. Tyron Woodley deserves to be the champion. He's a supremely talented fighter and a really hard fucking worker. Yeah, I would fight him again for, you know, of course I would want to get the title again, but, you know, it doesn't matter if you, you know, he, and he said, you know, the first fight did end, a lot of you don't know, with that ankle injury. He said, you know, the first fight ended in with a pretty shitty injury, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I would fight him again. It depends on if I'm gonna stay, you know, if this is not just a one-time deal, you know, this might just be a one-time fight. You know, she's like, oh, so, you know, she asked him if this was a multi-fight contract or you just have one fight on your deal, and he, he said that he does have more than one fight, but who knows, you know, he's gonna fight Neil, Neil Magny and gauge where he's at, and then we'll talk about possibly fighting Tyron and Woodley for the belt but another guy that Carlos Condit has lost to you that might want to avenge that loss to which was one of my favorite fights Carlos Condit versus George St. Pierre that would be also another possibility now Carlos Condit would probably have to get through Tyron Woodley first because for George St. Pierre to fight him he'd probably have to be a champion because we know George St. Pierre is back for the biggest fights he's not going to be here forever or or just to fucking grind through the division again he's here to take on the biggest fights possible and as Carl as it is today Carlos Condit is just a welterweight contender now if Carlos Condit was a welterweight champion again that would be a big fight Carlos Condit versus GSP for the 170 title but as of right now there's a fucking thorn in everybody's side and it's Tyron Woodley because he's got the welterweight belt so as many money fights as they would like to make make with that welterweight belt with all of these guys with Conor McGregor with Carlos Condit with George St. Pierre with Nate Diaz all of these big 170 pound super fights they want to make someone's gonna have to take out Tyron Woodley first or else he's gonna have to get the fight nobody wants to be the guy to take on Tyron Woodley everyone's got an excuse and and I understand you, everybody's got their own diehard fans but if you're just being fucking unbiased someone's gonna have to fight Tyron Woodley people said he was scared of Wonder Boy said he was scared of Wonder Boy again beat him twice people said well okay well, I guess one of them was technically a draw even though he did better in that fight than the win but still 
Also, he they said he was fucking scared of Damian Maya. Fucking exemplary performance. It was it was boring, but as far as takedown defense is concerned, that shit was superb. So with that being said, somebody's gotta have gonna have to take that belt from Tyron Woodley. Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be George St. Pierre? Is it gonna be Conor McGregor? Is it gonna be Nate Diaz? Is it gonna be Carlos Condit? Is it gonna be Colby Covington? I don't know. But in my mind, Tyron Woodley, I've said this before. To me, Tyron Woodley is the best welterweight on the planet today. So I don't know when it's gonna happen. But I do really did really enjoy this interview with Carlos Condit because he gave Tyron Woodley the proper respect I felt. And as I said, I'm not a Tyron Woodley dick writer. I just see through a lot of the bullshit. I'm not one of the guys that's like, oh no, you know, he just, they don't want to fight Tyron because it wouldn't make sense right now because no, 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 no. It wouldn't make sense if Tyron wasn't the champion. If Tyron was just a contender, nobody would be thinking about a Tyron Woodley fight. They wouldn't be asking about Tyron Woodley fights. The only reason people are even kind of having to respond to these questions is because Tyron Woodley's the champion and you know everybody's supposed to want that belt. With that being said, man, actually I think I've said enough on this video. It is what it is. Let the full-time family know what the fuck you tap at in the comments. I'm out. It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G.